What's up everyone? Uh, it's Gabriel Santos here from gfsantos.com and uh, for those following my journey you know that back in February of this year I uh, quit my day job of driving for DoorDash which is a food delivery service like Uber Eats or Grubhub um, all in the pursuit of uh, becoming a life coach or, or, or running a life coaching business because I already am a life coach certified. Um, and I made a big deal out of it and, and things like that. And just today, I did my first DoorDash uh, delivery uh, ever since I, I quit that day. Um, I had been really going back and forth over if I wanted to use DoorDash to make money again and what held me back from doing it was this pride uh, this pride of what it means if I was to do DoorDash and be the what it would mean if I made such a big deal at least in my own mind of you know quitting DoorDash and pursuing my life coaching business full-time and things like that um, and so in the three months that I've been away from DoorDash and pursuing really my dreams and goals um, and now to be back here in this car doing what I was doing three months ago um, first of all no I'm not I'm like this is secondary this is uh, secondary to everything else that I have going on um, and I do feel this, uh, what, what's the word? Um, on the one hand, this concern of what other people think, but then on the other hand, this whole like realization that no one really even cares. Like, like no one really cares. And the only person who should care is me, really. Um, and what I think about it and how I feel about it and how it's impacting me and why I'm doing it. Um, and to answer that last question, why I'm doing it, uh, really it's to make money so that I can support the what I want to be doing and how I want to be living at this current point in my life. Um, if you don't have money, you can't buy shit. And I don't mean like dumbass shit like you know what I'm saying? I mean like things that I like need and would serve me as I'm building a coaching business, as I'm, you know, as I'm just living my life in general. Um, uh, for example, I'm, I'm a pretty hardcore athlete nowadays in terms of what I do. Uh, I work out once a day, sometimes twice a day now, and at least once a week I do an insane hit workout uh, at the beach with my Elite 24 group. Um, and just in general, like I, I, my, I need my body and my mind to be at its peak. All of this to say I use uh, some uh, supplements, nutrition and health supplements um, that are now costing me over $100 a month to, to consume. And see, those things serve me. They serve my purpose. They make me, they make me better. Not that I'm not good enough. It's just that they enhance. They enhance my ability to do what I want to do. Um, and in order to pay for that, I need money. And the thing is, is where I'm at right now with my live coaching business and the other things that I'm up to career-wise, purpose-wise, mission-wise, um, those things are not yet producing money. And instead of making myself financially strained and more so emotionally strained by de needing to have money to pay for these kind of things, but being at that stage of my business where asking for money is not quite where it's at yet. Uh, doing things for free and getting experience and getting reps in and giving a lot, giving a lot, giving a lot. Um, I, I'm, it, it works best in my favor and the people, people I'm serving favor that I don't seek money from them. That I don't seek to take that I'm here really purely to give and to uh, uh, be an act of service and love 
with what I'm up to, at least initially, when, when really nobody knows me. And that's not the truth. It's not that nobody knows me, but in the grand scheme of things, compared to six billion people on earth, nobody knows me. You know what I'm saying? Compared to like Tony Robbins, where at least a million people know who he is, okay? So, um, and so yeah, you know, the the my intention with DoorDash, at least right now, is to make money. And what I discovered as I was reflecting on this decision is that what's important to me is that I'm always growing. Um, both while I'm having my experiences at DoorDash as well as what's more important which is serving people at a higher level. Their dreams, their goals, their emotional well-being, their spiritual spirituality. Um, and although I don't do that through DoorDash directly, there are ways for me to personally grow as a person to then fuel that other purpose that I just mentioned about serving people at a higher level. Um, and so, yeah, um, you know, and, and just, just to, to cap it off here, um, as far as how I'm doing, things are going fantastic. Um, I'm learning so much about myself, um, taking so much action, um, you know, going through the ups and downs of, of the very beginning stages of entrepreneurship. Um, every day just kind of under, like, every day just increasing the level of commitment and realistic understanding of the path that I've, that I've chosen. Um, cause, you know, I used to think that I was going to be a millionaire in a year. Now I think I'm going to be a millionaire in like, I don't know, fucking 20 years maybe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And that it's like... A big part of being, uh, sorry, that's the, that's the DoorDash delivery, being an effective entrepreneur is like not even being attached to the money at all. Like someone who I model after is Gary Vaynerchuk who really values the impact that he's having on people and the world more than the money he's making or will make. Right? The money is just a tool for me to live the life I want to live. But in terms of what's more important, it's it's what's being exchanged for the money. That's what's more important. And the impact that whatever I'm exchanging for the money, whether it be a service, a product, or whatever, is that's that's the whole fucking point. Not the money. Um but you need money to live that life you want to live. So anyways, I got to get to this DoorDash ship. Um, that's it for today, guys. At least for, for now. Uh, for for now. Um, yeah, have a great day. Peace.